Are you tired of the enemy dominating you? Do you want to dominate your enemy in such a way that they follow you after the match and invite you to help them push rank? Worry not, Kazuki is here to make you have all the Angela mains follow you and turn your lonely life into something you only dream of. Okay. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to discuss 10 tips which can help you in dominating your enemies. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. I know many of you guys plays MLBB just for fun and to pass the time. But don't you get triggered when an inexperienced player mocks you in the game by recalling on your dead body. Making your fun time not so fun. Well, if you want to have real fun while playing MLBB, <laughs> these tips might improve your game states and ultimately make you dominate your enemies. Knowing Spawn Times MLBB is a very strategy based game and requires very calculated approach in a higher stages of the game. And if you can apply some of the high level strategies in lower ranks, you will find yourself dominating almost every match. Everyone knows about the turtle, which spawns at 2 minute mark and the lord which spawns after 2 minutes when the last turtle is slain. But did you know that not killing the last turtle which spawns before the 8 minute mark will make the lord spawn in 8 minute which can help you in pushing lanes easily if you have a very good start. This condition can be used in vice versa by not allowing enemy to have the 8 minute load if they don't go for turtle before 8 minute mark. The minion wave spawn exactly after every 30 seconds when the first minion wave appears at 10th second of the game. Knowing when the minions are about to come can be very helpful in backdoor strategies. All the buffs have a 15 second timer before they spawn on the minimap. Using this timer to efficiently have your buffs will make you have a buff almost every second of the game if you can time your rotation to buff perfectly. And from rotation I can move to our next tip. Rotating efficiently. When you know the spawn timers and know exactly when the minions are supposed to come, you can calculate that you have rough 5 seconds window to decide whether to stay in lane or help your team in team fights. If any millionaire can be seen in team fights, you have lost the team fight. You can always opt for pushing turrets, ultimately forcing any millionaire to come and defend their lane. You can use this to set up trap in a bush as it is guaranteed someone from the enemy team has to visit to clear the lane. I won't go in deeper tips as we have covered the same in detail in our previous video. Moving on to our next tip, meta hero counter. In MLBB certain heroes perform well than others in battle and we term them as meta heroes. Meta heroes can be very dominating in the land of dawn but if you know the counters for them you can outperform them and even dominate them in 1 vs 1. Counters like Franco Kaza Kufra for Fanny Ling Lancelot Hayabusa make their life a living hell if you use them properly. Lolita is one of the most picked and has one of the highest win rate in high ranks because she is a perfect counter for many marksmen like Wan Wan, Beatrix, Claude and Moscow. There are many counters for every hero and to know more about hero counters, check out our channel and watch our videos to learn about all the counters in MLBB. Attention gamers, hold yourself for the most exciting news. We are introducing the ultimate epic skin giveaway. We are giving away not one, not five, but a whooping 10 epic skins to celebrate 1.15 million subscribers. Subscribe to our channel, like the video and simply drop a comment on any of our videos and that's it. How easy is that? So fill the comment section with your thoughts. Making in-game friends. Yes, I know most of you guys have encountered toxicity and abusive words thrown at you after the game. Making MLBB community one of the hardest to make friends in. 
if you can control your emotions and give your 200% in game without blaming your team after you get killed and help them in almost every situation, there's a 80% chance they will adore you and aid you in game to play again. No one wants to have a bad time in a game, right? The purpose of a video game is to improve your communication, social and personal skills. If you are having none of the above, you need to change your outlook in the game. MLBB is a team game and there are only certain things which you can do individually. Politely communicating in game will make more and more friends for you in game and they might become your best buddies, who knows. Well if you have now understood why should be polite in the game, let's move to our next step. Block chat and mic. As discussed earlier, there are many toxic players in our MLBB and the best way to avoid toxicity will be blocking chat option. Most of the times I find many players chatting in the chat box and ultimately distracting me when all I want to do is focus in game. Same applies to the mic option. Many duo trios will be playing on mics and just shouting or blaming and cursing. Whenever you encounter such situations, just use the block for chat and mic option of the particular player who you think are distracting you. Trust me, this will improve your focus in game way better as you will be solely focusing on winning the game, nothing else. Moving on to the next step which will be following pro players. Following pro players who play MLBB at higher stages like MPL, MSC, M-Series can benefit you and your in-game decision making just by imitating their playstyle. All the pro players have mastered the game and that is why they are in higher level than us. Learning from people who are better than you will always result in a skill growth if you have enough dedication. Watching how they draft, how they play against each other's in lanes, how their team ganks. This will ultimately make you learn their tactics and make you better as an MLBB player. If you want to become an advanced player from a casual player, these tips might help you. Here are some tips which you can use when you have used all the tips mentioned earlier. Note: These are the tips for the advanced players. Knowing the best setting for a hero. There are many heroes in MLBB which can be used to their fullest when you turn on some settings for a hero. For example, aim panning. Heroes like Selena benefit the most when this setting is turned on as it will give you a better view of the map and help you stun enemies easily. M assist. When playing 1-1, one -one, you should always turn off the M assist mode as it will make 1-1 one -one jump in random directions depending on where her basic attack is marked. There are many settings for different heroes. The more you play and discover, the more setting will get to know. The next tip will be itemization. Everybody knows that items make your hero stronger. But making items depending on the situations is what creates a difference between a good player and an inexperienced player. One item can decide the outcome of a clash. For example, I have seen many Moscow players building critical items against tanky enemies. Let's test the damage output of critical build. Hmm, kind of okay. Now let's test the damage of Trinity build. Wow, that bot actually become pepper for Moscow. Learning two meta heroes from each role. Learning two meta heroes from each role every season will gradually increase your hero pool and make you understand how they function. Once you have enough matches with a hero, rather than sticking on to it for eternity, move on to the next hero and continue doing so. When you will have more than 20 heroes, which you understand completely, your gameplay experience will be a lot smoother. You will be able to predict their skills as you have played the hero for quite some time. And if you want to learn new heroes, I am here to help you. Check out our previous hero guide videos. And for a secret tip, push the subscribe button to find it out. And with this, I would like to end this video and hope that now all you can use these tips to impress your crush and finally be ready to mingle. And before ending today's video, here are the shoutouts from our previous video. 
Martian Gameplay, MP Monocle 24, Kilian the Best, Stephen Cohn, and Mohammed Shoyal. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.